Good morning, children. Welcome to Maths class. So, in Maths, we are practicing for summative assessment three exam, isn't it, children? So, in this, we have learned how to find the perimeter, how to find the area, volume of solids, adding and subtracting weight, finding elapsed time, start time, and end time, adding time, subtracting time, story problems. Also, we have learned. So, today we will learn how to tabulate the given data. how to draw the line graph bar graph and what will be the questions in that and also the circle graph okay so let's see so these are the perimeter and area formula which will be useful for your first two bits and also in the story problems okay so try to recollect all these things see volume of solids adding weight subtracting weight finding elapsed time adding time subtracting time and story problems okay so these are your story problems which we have learned yesterday the profit and loss profit and loss fraction all these we have learned yesterday isn't it so today we are going to tabulate the given data children for any given data here for you a table has been given but in the exam i have only given the data you have to tabulate you already learned from second class isn't the children how to tabulate the data in the same way you have to tabulate okay first column will be what are the things you are there in that information then you can write number of things and then tally marks or tally marks first then number of things it's your wish okay so how to write the tally marks if the total number of people are 3 then 3 lines you will draw the tally marks okay if they are Seven. So what you will do? You will draw first one line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth. Fifth, you are not going to draw like this. How you have to draw? One, two, three, four, and the fifth line should cross over the fourth line, which means it is a bundle of five. Okay. Again, six, seven. Okay, children, in that way. Okay. Here it is like a fill in the blanks, but in the exam I have given some data. where you need to tabulate the information okay so here if you count the tally marks you can write 7 and for next one so this is a bundle of 5 and 4 you have 5 plus 4 becomes 9 okay and then here you have bundle of 3 uh, 5 3 this is what bundle this is the second one this is a third one so 5 plus 5 plus 5 so which becomes 15 15 plus 1 60 so you will write 60 so in that way you need to draw the table for the given any information for example if it is about fruits so here you will write fruits okay here you write number of fruits here you will write tally marks for example the fruit is pineapple pineapple there are 5 so what you will do 1 2 3 4 and fifth one like this in that way you need to do the tally marks and the questions will be like which is the more number of fruit which fruit is more in number which fruit is less in number what is your favorite fruit example i am giving you okay in that way any data and come you can look at the data table it and answer okay along with that you have bar graph or line graph so i have given a choice between bar graph or and a line graph or else you have to do both okay according to the question if i have given do this or that you can do choice any of those okay otherwise if you have to do both do bar graph do line graph then you have to do both okay read the question understand and do it okay so for the given data we have to draw on the graph paper first you have to draw a sleeping line which is x axis here and a standing line which is y axis okay on the x axis you will take number of breads or fruits or days okay on y axis you will take the number okay number of pets number of fruits number of days whatever it is okay number of apples sold anything number of fruits sold anything it might be but it should be in the form of numbers okay x axis what it is about okay so number of pets here if there are zero pets how many people are there with zero pets three people isn't it 
till here this is 2 this is 4 so till here you need to draw the map because there are three people who doesn't have pets that's why for example if you think the example of pineapple so if it is 5 so you will have to draw the bar till 5 like this so here it should coincide with 5 here it should it should coincide with pineapple so in that way you need to draw the bar graph all okay you can write the title also here what do you mean by title the name what are we drawing this graph what is the topic what is the data they have given that is the title here it is pets or favorite pets the example which i gave you fruits or vegetables or whichever information it is given that you need to write okay next you have line graph so here they have given a data look at the table and answer the question so here it is about the temperature so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so on monday it is 36 degrees on tuesday 34 wednesday 38 thursday 40 friday 39 saturday 40 degrees and sunday 41 degrees for this you need to draw the line graph how you can draw first what are these we have days isn't it so that days will be on the x-axis which is a sleeping line and what is this it is a temperature so that will be on your y-axis okay so on monday how much temperature is there six degrees so you will on monday at six you will place a point okay on tuesday it is 34 so 34 only you are not drawing the lines here children we are only placing the dots full stops okay in bar graph we are drawing the box it's a bar it is a line graph we are only placing the dots in the places for the given information then finally after placing the dots then you will connect it with a line that's why it is called as line graph okay and from this also there might be questions like which day was has the highest temperature which day has the lowest temperature so what is the difference between the temperature on monday and tuesday in that way also you may get the questions looking at the table looking at your graph you can answer it okay now coming to your circle graph circle chart so for any given circle chart you need to answer the questions here you are not drawing the circle chart children circle chart is given to you you have to understand the information which you get in the circle chart that is if you see the circle here children see here the people who are using car are one fourth of the circle isn't it and the people who are using bus as a transport it is more than one fourth so here till here only you have one fourth more than one fourth that means the people who are using bus as a transport are more okay and which is less the small one so taxi the people who are using taxi for the transport that is cabs for the transport are very less okay but if you see if you add the transportation by cycle and taxi it is equal to the transportation of car the people who are using taxi and cycle if you combine them if you add them it is equal to the people who are using cars okay and if you combined the people using cars cycle and taxi it is one by two of the of the total population half of the population are using car cycle and taxi yes and the other half are using bus and they prefer walking and walking is less when compared to the people who are using bus so in that way you have to get the information from the circle chart and according to the questions what they ask you have to answer okay children so with this we have completed with our revision children and all the best for your exams prepare well write neatly okay yes so prepare well and do it well children neatly you present it will be nice okay so all the best children bye